Everyone has prejudices about things or animals, but also about people and groups of people. They make it easier to have an overview of the world. People are social animals. We base part of our identity on the social groups we belong to or want to belong to. We often think in terms of us and them, sometimes more than we realize. And by doing so, we also think we know how us and them should behave. A prejudice is a premature judgment. You expect that every one of them will be or act the same. You have a lot of images and expectations in your head about a person solely because of the group he or she belongs to. A prejudice can be very stubborn. Often it is based on gut feeling. Prejudices are primitive but normal human reactions. They can form in many ways. For instance, because of a chance meeting or from images or stories in the news or social media. But prejudices are still judgments, even if they are just in your head. They often shrink your world because a prejudice makes you warier of people from other groups. Consciously or unconsciously, you avoid certain people. They may also define how you behave to others. And when prejudices become behavior, they can be dangerous. Prejudices against groups of people can lead to discrimination, to unfair, unequal treatment. Then you judge someone and act differently towards them based on characteristics that shouldn't matter. Prejudices can lead to exclusion, to people being set apart and labeled negatively. The past has taught us that this can have terrible consequences. An important question is, how do you deal with your own prejudices? Do you try to be open to contact with anyone? Are you willing to be surprised? And an equally important question is, how do you deal with prejudices you hear around you? Do you react? Do you discuss them? Do you tackle them? These are questions everyone should stop and think about. If we challenge prejudices, the world will become a nicer place to live in.